What's going on you guys? It's me back with another pickup video. This video is going to be handheld heavy. I picked up quite a few games for different handhelds. And I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. Let's get started. First, I want to show you guys something I picked up. Sprites and Bites kept telling me I need to pick this thing up. And I finally did. And it's a PlayStation Vita. I've wanted one for a while. And there was a couple games that people recommended to me to pick up. So, I went and bought one. Now, enough with that. Let's get into the games I've actually picked up for the video. First is One Piece Unlimited World Red. This is actually a an adventure game, action adventure game. And it's pretty fun. I ran through it. I beat it in about a day and a half. It's pretty simple. It's, and it's short too, so... The next game is uh, Don Gone Ropa for the Vita. It's a visual novel. Um, another another game that a lot of people recommended to me, and I went and picked that up. And then the next game is the sequel. Like I said, that was recommended to me too, and I had to pick it up. Next game is Ease Memory of Cell Seta. This is also another game. Um, it's an action RPG. I ran through it in about a day. Yeah, about a day. It's pretty short. Um, action RPGs are pretty easy to me because it's kind of like it's pretty much a beat em up, in my opinion. Just that you can level up your people after you, you know, finish kicking shit. So. And I love beat em ups. I think that was my first love before RPG. So I've been playing beat em ups since I was like three. So beat em ups are nothing to me, in my opinion. Another game, Dragon's Crown, published by Atlas. Uh, this is a beautiful game. It's another action RPG. This took me about a day and a half. Um, I really love it. You have to level up your characters well. And make sure you level up. There's a lot of grinding in this game. And so, there's a lot of replay, uh, replayability too. Because of different classes that you can pick in this game. So, it's pretty cool. Really good for network play. Next game, I'm going to show you guys. I've actually been trying to get the whole series. And the first two games actually on the handheld. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about. And that is... Super Robot Wars. Um, this one is the first one the series came out about 1991. The it's a tactical RPG, and it's pretty much a big mech crossover. You have Gundam, um, Neo Genius of of Engelon, Big O, Voltron, um, Dengayo, um, just so many different mechs. Pretty much. If you heard of it, it's probably in it. And they're all not in that one, but in the coming series, they they come out. The next one is the sequel, and that is Super Robot Wars 2. The first two came out on the Game Boy. This one is actually a remake of the second one. The, the first uh, make of it came out on a Famicom, but the issue that I have is... I can't find the Kavamicon version. It was hard enough finding this one complete. And the first one was hard to find too. It was hard to find, period. Especially uh, good copies. So I'm glad to have both of these and add them to my collection. The next thing that I picked up that I'm pretty psyched about is a Wonder Swan. This is Skeleton Green. Um, you can play it both horizontally and vertically, which I don't see why you would play it vertically, but they had both options. And I picked up for dirt cheap. It was, it was a steal, so I had to. And then it also came with a game, which I really don't care about. I just used to make sure it worked. And it's a, a soccer game. Yeah, soccer. 
and then games that I actually care about that I bought for the Wonder Swan. The first one is Super Robot Wars Compact. The next one is Super Robot Wars Compact 2. The next one is Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 2. They made it in a three part, like three parts in this one. I don't know why, I guess they don't hold enough room to put the full game into it, but that's what they did. Now, the next games that I picked up are actually Super Famicom games. The first one I'm going to show you is Front Mission. Good game. This one's not complete. Oh, those all those Wonder Swan games were complete, by the way. The next game is Super Robot Wars 3 for the Super Famicom. This is complete. Show you guys. Manual. Actual game. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get all of them. All Super Robot War games. The main ones. I really don't want the spin-offs or the remakes. Unless the only ones I can find in the main series are the remakes, then I might go ahead and get those. But generally I want the original ones. Super Robot Wars 4. Pretty cool game. Um what else? What else? I got a bunch of stuff sitting here. Next thing I picked up, the 3DS. 3DS XL. I had to get one. I got it for like 70 bucks. You really can't beat that. Um, I would have got a new 3DS, but there really one is really no games for it. And I can break the region lock on this and get more imports. So why the hell not? You can't do it with the new 3DS. So, there goes that game I got for it Fire Emblem Awakening pretty excited about that uh, I've been wanting to get into Fire Emblem series for a while so with this I'm going to jump into it it's really, they're really not uh, chrono in a chronological order so it really doesn't matter so why not then Project X Zone limited edition add to you know, it has sacred characters, Capcom characters, you know, the big crossover, so I had to do it. Next game is a tactical RPG for the Sega Saturn. I imported this. I'm going to adjust this to be that remake. Um, this also came out for Super Famicom, which was the original version. I didn't know that at the time that I ordered it, so I picked this up. And I haven't played it yet. I just got it in the mail the other day, so... And oh, before I forget, a game that I picked up on the Vita that I don't know what the case is, I don't know what I did with it, but I do not recommend this game. It fucking sucks. Don't waste your money. It is Ragnarok Odyssey. It fucking sucks. It's, it's supposed to be like a Monster Hunter clone, and it, it's not good at all. It's, it's not a good game. I played it for about an hour, and it's just gonna sit there. Oh, damn. Before I forget. Two games I got for the PSP. I don't have a PSP, but I will get one. First one is Persona 2. I want to get in the Persona series, so I've seen this for dirt cheap at a pawn shop, so why not? Next game is Tactics Ogre. Let's get them together. Another uh, tactical RPG that I want to get into. I've seen it for cheap, so I had to, I had to grab it. Then, this game that I picked up is Tony Hawk's Underground. Great game. Awesome game. So, I played it a lot as a kid. So, I've seen it today for $3. You can't go wrong. And the final game that I've picked up 
and I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't really got into it yet because we had snow here, power got knocked out, then the power came back up, and then the internet wasn't working, and there were Xbox, no internet, no Xbox, so it was an Xbox, it's an X bone, X dead, it's a, yeah, X brick pretty much, when there's no internet, and that's the Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I love this series, I'm playing Dragon Ball games since the beginning, I've been watching the series since I was a kid, since I was like yay high, so I had to pick the game up, and I'm gonna do a let's play on it, of the, uh, the story. And I'm actually going to do that on a separate channel. I, I want this channel to be mainly vlogs. And that's what you guys watch. So that's all I'm going to put on this channel. So from now on, any like Let's Plays I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on a different channel. And I'll, I'll add that whenever I, I make that channel. Um, That's it for pickups right now. Um, I know a couple videos back, I talked about a game that I was going to surprise you guys with when I actually got it well I got a notification that the game has finally shipped so I should get it in about five to ten days and when I finally get that game I'm gonna make a video talking about that game and unboxing it because I'm, I'm pretty psyched for that I've been waiting for this shit for like three months no that's a lot almost three months but that's it man that's it with uh what I have next month's gonna be a slow month for me because I kinda went ham this month, buying a bunch of stuff. So next month, I'm not really gonna buy much. I'm gonna import a couple things, and I, I still got a couple things coming. But uh, that's it, man. I'm out. I'll be back later with another video.